Greetings, it is I, Sonic Emerald, and welcome back to Tales of Exalia. We've got to hunt down this girl, which she can be anywhere in Fenmont. The question is, is that where could she be? I'm thinking it's at a place that I have never been to. And the answer, could the answer, or can I be right? Uh, no. Figures. Boy, this is a long, narrow hallway. My gosh. Anyway, this girl could be anywhere in this city who knows where she may end up being at uh, so in other words we've really 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 got to look Might be here at Sea Haven, but I don't know. We're gonna find out. And the answer is no. Hmm. Okay then. My question is, where in the woman uh where in the woman? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Where in the world could this woman be? I've not exhausted all areas yet. Let's try that little nook down there in the corner. Okay, I'm back and uh, she's here in the central area by a post. Uh, plus... gonna be something else that goes with it let's see here you gotta look aha there she is the girl in red I know you Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I finally get to finish you off! And it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little psychotic episode, but we really need to ask you something. <laughs> Why would I answer you, Claude? Wait, I have seen you before. Is it possible? Are you Lady Nadia of House Travis? Huh? I seem to be correct. But what would compel an heiress of one of the six ruling houses to spy for Ajur? I don't know anything about that stinking house. I'm Agria the Shadowless of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad again? So you're working for Gaius. What's it to you? You tried to destroy the Lance of Kresnik. Well, duh. <laughs> we want to destroy it too. That makes us allies. If you know where the lance was taken, tell us. <laughs> like I'd tell you anything. Please, you want to destroy it for the same reason we do, right? Because it's dangerous? You reek. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Before I destroy the lance, I'll use it to blast Rashigul to itty bitty bits. <laughs> Boy, she's crazy. What is your problem? We're working our butts off to save the world, and you think it's funny to stand in our way? <laughs> you really do stink. What are you, five? You think you can fill the world with rainbows and kittens just by working hard? <laughs> That's 
sweet reek of yours is giving me brain decay. What's your beef with hard work? Zip it, you little pimple, or I'll pop you. Uh, excuse me? I still remember the agony you caused me that day. Oh, it's making my head hurt. All right, it's boss time. She's thirty thousand, and then fifty two hundred on these guys. Which I totally forgot. Uh oh. Well, that ain't nothing. Yeah! Even though I kept the minimum damage on, I'm such an idiot. Mila, I don't stink, do I? No, you're totally fine. Did I ask you? Oh, I gotta learn to take that damn thing off. Damn it! Yeah, 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 we know about burn. Which, this boss was nothing, but I just wish I could kill her off a little bit faster than this. I should warn you, I'm still not used to the sensation of sweating during exertion. Couple that with my somewhat clumsy sword grip, and well, you might consider being a little more cooperative. Where is the lance? Hm. A secret passageway runs under the laboratory. It connects to Orta Palace. And that is? That's the palace Noctigal rules from. I've never heard of this passageway. Is it still usable? Only if you're a worm. It's caved in now. So we can't use it. Hey, get back here! Maxwell, one of these days, I'm going to rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! And you, pimple! Listen up. Work, work, work as hard as that scrawny body of yours can handle. And you'll still wind up with only two things. Jack and squat. Why do you say stuff like that? That girl has serious issues. She does, and so do you. Orta Palace, the enemy stronghold. We should be careful. I know. Let's check things out first. All right. Before I get pissed off again here and not do what I'm supposed to be doing. Good Lord have mercy, I keep forgetting to do this. Boy, even though Jude was doing most of the damage, it's just like, wow. You know, and we got a main sketch. Why did that Agria girl say such awful things to me? Because you're an idiot. Urchin actually nobility? Yes, I do believe that she is the scion of the Travis family. The Travis estate was destroyed by arson a few years ago. Most of the Travises died in the blaze. She lost her whole family? No wonder she turned out that way. How interesting. You can sympathize with someone you despised mere seconds ago. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of thing Agria would say reeks of naivete. Perhaps she would. But I find it to be a kind naivete. and gentle thing. I agree. Oh dear, perhaps we're starting to smell a bit cheesy ourselves. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta head to Orta Palace, which, which is straight up here. Excellent. I'm gonna do a little bit more with this episode, but not too much. Ooh. Probably nothing important. <laughs> I'm saying, really? Really, game? 
Uh-oh. Huh. I figured security would be tighter than this. I don't suppose we could just charge inside. I would say it's a trap. That wouldn't be prudent. This is their stronghold. Just weighing options. I think Jude might have the right idea here. Whoa, hey now, are you serious? For once, Mila is telling us to be cautious and not charge in. Do you have a plan? More of a hunch, actually. Shall we test it? If it's good enough for Rowan, count me in. All right. Who we got here? Battle Corpse Officer, 5,200. Blade Corpse Officer, 4,700. And Spirit Court Officer, 4,200. Most of them are weak to light. And that was fast enough. Don't you forget it. Oh no, they use Mystic Arts now? Wow, this game's different from Tales of the Abyss. Any reinforcements? Looks clear. But this is the King's house. Shouldn't he have more soldiers? It could be a trap. No doubt the Rashagal army has already been deployed for war with Ajul. But wouldn't they tighten security around the royal palace in wartime? Except for the natural and man-made barriers that protect Fenmont in the north and south, it has few defenses in the event of a siege. If the enemy army breaches its walls, the city is as good as fallen. Troops are wasted here in wartime, so the majority of them are deployed to fortify the naval defenses in Fort Gondala. That makes sense, but it also means war is imminent. We can't waste this opportunity. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. All right, uh, we're getting ready to get into the enemy stronghold. Can we uh, can we destroy the Lance of Kresnik? We may have to fight King Gaius too. Find out next time on Tales of Exalia. This is Sonic Emerald saying goodbye and see you on the flip side. Like and subscribe to my channel. It's much, much appreciated. And hit that notification bell for all the latest updates on my channel.